We're gonna keep this video short and sweet, but recently I've been getting a lot of comments asking about the grip extension that comes with the Sony A7C-R. If you decided to buy the A7C II, you do have to buy this grip separately, sadly. And it does come in at a pretty steep price of $160 USD. Which, from the moment I found out it cost that much, I thought it was kind of outrageous, because it's literally just a plastic grip extension for your camera. The only other alternative is a small rig grip that cost $30. I don't have it currently, but I did buy one and it is on back order because so many people with the A7C II and even the A7CR seem to be choosing to buy that one instead of this very expensive Sony grip. To give you guys the short but not so short answer on whether I think this grip is worth it comes down to a few nitpicky things that I like to have in regard to the accessories for my camera. My favorite thing about this grip that you are not going to find with the small rig is that it is made of the same plastic and the same grip texture of the A7C II and the A7CR. Now that is a really small thing that a lot of people probably do not care about, but it does matter to me because I like having a grip that feels like it's actually a part of the camera and not just an accessory. Setting aside the A7C-R, I have the original A7C right here. And as you can see, I do have this grip extension on that is actually very similar to the small rig grip extension. And as you can see, it comes off, and as you can see, it comes off with an Allen wrench. And that's fine, it's not really that big of a deal, but one thing I really, really appreciate and like about the Sony grip is that it comes off just by twisting this thing down here and it just comes off that easily. And you can put it back on incredibly easily. Off. And for those of you wondering, this grip will not fit on the original A7C. We'll go ahead and try and put it on here just so you guys can, uh, you guys can see. That's, that's about as much as you can get it on. As you can tell, the grip is not the same size and there is a small little uh, tab that helps lock the grip into place on the A7C-R and the A7C-2 so it doesn't move around on you. So when I got the A7C-R, I really wasn't sure if I was going to actually use this grip all that often because I had bought multiple grips for my original A7C and I would use them for a little bit but they never ended up staying on my camera for very long. And I just found the compact nature of the original A7C to just be perfect. But with the A7C-R, I found myself, I have not taken this grip off not once. I've not gone out and shot without this grip on a single time. When I have this grip on the camera, it does really feel like it's actually supposed to be on the camera. It feels like this is how the camera is supposed to be used. It doesn't really feel like it compromises the overall size of the A7C II and the A7C-R. And the other thing that is extremely convenient about this grip is just how easy it is to change your battery. You just flip this little lever right here and it opens up and it's very easy to access your battery. So Sony really designed this grip in a way that makes it hassle-free to use because you don't have to worry about it being annoying to get to your battery. You don't have to worry about it being annoying to take the grip on and off. So for that, I almost think this grip is worth $160. If you have the money to spare, I say go for it if you want it. If not, I think you're probably just better off getting the small rig grip. Because the one true benefit of the small rig grip is that it has Arca Swiss mounts, so it's easy to mount your camera on a tripod if you need to. So for this grip, you would need one of these really annoying tripod adapters. Once you screw them on, I hate these tripod adapters because they never seem to stay tight and even just after a little bit of using one of these adapters on your, on your camera, the camera always seems to come a little loose and turn and that's just annoying and I hate using them. So I think there's pros and cons to using both. And the difference is $130, which like I said earlier is kind of ridiculous. So if you've watched this entire video, you've probably already made up your mind on which grip you think is worth it the most. Do I think this grip is worth it? Would I buy it separately if I had got the A7C II over the A7C-R? Probably because I am so nitpicky about the grip and it being the same grip texture and plastic as the actual camera itself, I just really like that. And even though I do have the small rig grip on the way, I don't really think I will probably use it as much as this grip. I think it would probably end up being a similar situation as to my original A7C where I put it on and maybe use it for a couple days or a week or two and then I just take it off again and instead of rocking no grip, I'll just put the other Sony grip back on. 
So in that way, I definitely do think the grip is worth it. But of course, that's just me. So let me know what you guys think. And if you own both grips, feel free to leave a comment down below talking about your experience with both grips so far. So thanks for watching this video. I tried to keep it fairly short. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to help support me. And I hope I can inspire you guys to get out and take more photos. Go out and shoot.